Welcome back everyone. Born to create laughter from Inglewood, California to MTV's Wild and Out with Nick Cannon today and tomorrow. You can catch Tyler Chronicles right here in Memphis. But before he hits the stage at Chuckles Comedy House, he is here joining me in the studio to talk all about it. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you having me. Thank you. So we were just chatting for a little bit. You told me that this is not your first time in Memphis. Yes, uh, yes. Are you a barbecue fan? Have you tried any barbecue here? All right, so I am a pescatarian by nature. So uh, barbecue fish doesn't seem to be on the guys' <laughs> menu. So. No. <laughs> yeah, but it smells good though. You know what? I, I smelled some brisket the, yes, the, uh, yes. yesterday. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody in Memphis does have some barbecue fish somewhere. All right, hit I me up at <laughs> Chuckles tonight. Bring your truck. Bring your food truck to Chuckles tonight. For sure. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, you said this isn't your first time in Memphis. I'm curious, mm -hmm. like, what a Memphis crowd is like when you're performing at Chuckles or wherever. Uh, what's the vibe of Memphians? I love Memphians because they um, they make you tell the truth. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's not like you're not gonna get any courtesy laughs or anything like that. It's gonna be mostly. Uh, um, you know, good jokes, you're going to get a good response and, you know, they let you know how well you're doing here. Mm -hmm. So I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. and I know we mentioned you uh, have been on Wild and Out mm -hmm. and several other things. What's your style of comedy? What can people expect from you? Um, it's a different style. I just, my, my main thing is just making sure you have a good time and going away having fun. I like to, you know, interact with the crowd as well a, a good little bit. And then, you know, obviously let people go home knowing something about me and a little bit where I'm from and, you know, how I live my life. And then answering questions about Wild and Out and things like that. And, you know stuff on, on television so it's it's a um, it's a lot to go on a hodgepodge yeah yeah i learned that word yesterday there you go. what's <laughs> it like working with nick cannon or, or on wild and out i mean it's been running for so long yes kind of iconic at this point how right. cool did you get to do that yes yeah, it's a well-oiled machine by now we shoot three episodes a day a lot of people don't know that we we wow. finish a whole season in like a week Oh, so wow. yeah, it's not it's not like we're shooting all the yeah. time. So of uh, the time that I get to be around him, I just notice how how hard of a worker he is. Like he he'll literally be at the studio in the morning, come and do kind of like a walkthrough for Wilding Out, then do shoot the shows, then fly to go see one of his children and come back <laughs> yeah. the next morning. It's it's insane. So that's yeah. awesome. Well, cool. Is there anything else like that you have coming up or any mm -hmm. tours or anything? That you I'm want to actually talk about? Um, actually great that you asked. I'm here in Memphis. I'm doing a campaign to the local government to please fix the potholes on all the roads Listen. in Memphis on 240. Um, I almost lost my rental Look car. At you. Yeah, I almost lost my rental car on 240. So, you know, yeah, listen, I'm right in there. That is a complaint of many Memphis. Yes, so, yes. city of Memphis, you hear that? I didn't say it. Did. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm here to campaign for that. <laughs> and also, um, keep watching Wild and Out. Chuckles tonight and tomorrow, two shows, 7 30, 10 o'clock. And um, also, exclusive announcement I don't know if anybody watches BMF, but I'm going to be on there next okay. season. Okay. Yes, indeed. All right, lots going on here with Tyler Chronicles. Thank you so much for being with, with us this morning. We Thanks appreciate it. Me. And again, you can see him this weekend at Chuckles.